kiss the sky It'd be so, so right So right So right If I could only fly I would fly so high I would kiss the sky It'd be so, so right So right Welcome to Prince's Hill. Once was, was the ancestral lands of the Woi Warong tribe. Up until the 1870s, this crown name was pretty much bush until 1876 that it was subdivided. Behind us is the old Melbourne Cemetery which will be explored at another time. But for now, follow Ruby and us around Princess Hill as we show you the architecture and any other interesting things that we find along the way. We are currently on Hardy Reserve. Anyway, follow us and see what we can find. Let's go. traditional milk bar but no longer in use very much a past thing of this era in the 1960s they were doing a roaring trade until the 70s hit and they started to slow down because supermarkets started to take over and by the 80s 24 hours shopping like supermarkets and 7-elevens just absolutely killed them to the point that they don't exist anymore these shops were the hub of communities where people would gather and buy their daily bread, milk and sweets. Peter here, the better half in Princess Park. <laughs> the uh, park was originally set aside in 1854 and in that time as you can imagine Melbourne was a pretty sparse sort of town growing at that time. They needed it somewhere to dump their shit <laughs> and that's where they dumped it. They dumped it around this particular park so if you can see how green it is today you probably understand why. It would have been very fruity Peter smelly it was okay and then they and then they buried them across the road at the melbourne cemetery <laughs> <laughs> and what happened after that well when you're dead you're dead no after the it that was used as a human waste oh well you know the grass grew up the cows fed it and then we ate the cows <laughs> so, that's the cycle of life mate bye
here I am on what was once the site of the Inner Circle Railway. Uh, it started around the 1880s. Uh, there was actually, uh, and the train ceased in 1948. Limestone Grove, built in 1891, is an exceptionally fine example of boom era style terrace architecture. The elaborate cornice and parapet lines, heads, medallions, and pedimented verandas are particularly notable. enjoyed our walk around Princess Hill. Once again, if you're interested in doing the Heritage Trail Walk, just go onto the City of Yarra website and pick up the trail. Princess Hill, you give you all the notes required, plus the points of interest for you to follow. Anyway, that's all for now. On to our next adventure.